All right, welcome to Oraka PDX. Uh, we're playing Elden Ring. You got uh, Tony behind the controls and uh, helping me along is my brother Daniel. Hello. All right, let's get back into it. Uh, I've definitely lost track of what episode we're on. I think this will be 11. Oh, nice. Uh, we're getting there. We're getting up there. I still can't beat Margaret because I suck. Did you kill the dragon though? Mm hmm. You did, yeah, you killed it. That was that. the last thing I, we did, I think. Right on. And then I still couldn't beat Margaret. Well, he's kind of a bastard. We're gonna go back into the pain session or try something different? Um, uh, you know, maybe give it a shot or two. Cold, I mean, going in cold is gonna be rough, but. Uh, I usually have to die like 50 times to start getting like, the timing, but we'll see. Yeah, you know. Also, been playing other games, so it's like. I'm gonna be all discombobulated. Oh yeah, maybe, we'll see. maybe not then. I don't know. It, it, it'll be fine. It's up to you. As in, like, horrible, but it'll be fine. Yeah, it's gonna be terrible, but let's do it. Yes. <laughs> you got nothing to lose. <laughs> Everything to gain. It'd be nice to get to that castle. Good first to first to go at it though. Damn. I felt really good. Going in cold. Alright. Roger hung in there to like almost the the last quarter of his health bar. Yeah, that's really good. That's impressive. I think he you were get as big a hits off as he usually does, but well, and, but you were doing, you know, keeping his aggro and yeah. keeping the offensive going, and he was able to get those ranged attacks in there, which is, like, perfect.
try something else. Uh, there's plenty of places to explore still. Uh, you maybe open the mini map or the map map. <laughs> it was, yeah, it's not mini map. map. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I do that. So there's a southern region to Khalid. Khalid is that red area. There's also that island at the very southmost region. The, that whole left hand side of it, there's stuff to explore uh, down there. No, that, that lower portion. No, no, no. The, the massive. At the, yeah, that area in particular. There's stuff there too. Mm -hmm. uh, there's still stuff in the central area, in the beginning area, yeah, that can be explored and whatnot. And then, you know, you circumnavigated the castle up in the northwest up there, and there's still lots of things you can do there too. So, I mean, it's kind of whatever speaks to you, you know? Let's knock out the easy shit. I mean, it'll yeah. probably be the slowest progression, but. Sure, sure. Um, actually, Maybe this is kind of a mini boss that you want to challenge. Uh, pull the pull the map back up. See that gray circle? Yeah, there's one there and there's another one. Like and those are little mini bosses. Um, they're kind of cool. The Evergolds. Um, you might want to put a check mark on one of those and head to one of those. Get like a, to the closest. Uh, yeah. Maybe the one north, just slightly north. I'd recommend that one. Uh, no, no, down. That one. Yeah, that one's a good one to head there from. The other one puts you in a tunnel and you have to kind of go by uh, something gnarly. Okay. You could go that way. Okay. Although it's like daylight out. So if this was Dragon's Dragon, I'd I'm wasting oil, oh no. <laughs> Yeah, it's that number three one. You're, yeah, you're heading the right way. I want a whole game where you just have fucking lances. And, like, lances is just so much, the, like, better mechanically dialed. Like, in. yeah, exactly. Yeah. It'd be crazy, too, if they were destructible and you had to have, like, seven. Oh, no! See, it would be, like, like it would have a little bit of auto control in that, like, like your guy would, yeah, wouldn't be dumb. And, I mean, I know it's all skill to be like, well, let's just get it timed perfectly. And I guess that's just the get good of it, but mm -hmm. I don't, I don't feel bad. It's almost a, there is a bit of satisfaction to getting it down. Sure. I mean, I get that, but sure. I don't know. I know what you're saying. I mean, if the whole focus of it was that. I can see there being an attack that it's like purely skill based, but generally speaking, I think your lance charges would be more forgiving if that was like the focus of the game. And you have different ones. I mean, you have a LT1, R2, R1, R L1. You have a, a barrage of different ones. Whoa. guy on horseback, his weapon is called the Dismounter. Oh! <laughs> shit! Oh, shit! 
I've done that so many times. <laughs> the horse is kind of tricky. I'll be like trying to carefully scale some hillside thing and then it's totally whole, just boop. It's that whole just not having done the controls for so long. Nope. No, even with hundreds of hours in it, I well, still Well, no, I mean, like, me right there. That was, yeah. I was just been playing too many other games, and I was, like, <laughs> just spazzing the wrong button. Yeah, then... but I'm saying even with hundreds of hours, I still do oh, stuff sure. like that. Sure, sure. I'm like, damn it! <laughs> that was interesting. <laughs> the torch. So, oh. One of the attacks, you're kind of like, well, poised for With the attack. shield away, which it should be, because it does nothing right now. Yeah. Is, that gives me my L3, right? Which is the super long one. Yeah. That's what I kept, like, expecting. And I use that one a lot, actually. Well, that's what I was expecting I was going to be doing, and I was not. Yeah, that's the one I use a lot. I mean, I do use the other ones to do like the quick slap. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I deserve that. Uh oh, uh oh. Definitely want to heal. When you heal, it also heals the a little bit too. That, that last hit uh, hits quite a bit harder too. No, it's unfortunately good. Yeah, well, it's kind of stressful with all the parties involved. There's a lot to navigate there. Oh, Ooh. that was good. I did that. Alright. That does help a lot that that attack is, like, kind of... Kind of what you were hoping Well, it has, for. like, a kind of persistent <laughs> ram to it. Yeah. Yeah. You can really stack some damage with it. Yep. And or hit multiple parties like that too. Yeah, it's quite the attack. That's, a, that's an interesting, like the scoop on it. That's interesting. Yeah, I mean, I think a really cool dynamic game with like lance and jousting techniques and stuff. I mean, obviously, a uh, jousting competition mode would be huge in it. It's very niche in this game, it kind of frustrates mm -hmm. me. I'm one of the few people that really dig this weapon. I don't see a lot of other people rocking it, which... Yeah, there's a game called Mountain Blade that I'm sure features it, because like, mounted it. Fuck. Um, oh no, you still got him with that last one, you just blocking. Well, I got it in front of his shield. Mm -hmm. okay, did you just drop anything? I don't remember. I think they're all being stingy. I didn't notice. Yeah, I think they're being stingy. Okay. Alright, enough of that. Um, there's a game called Mountain Blade that has uh, a lot of mounted combat. I don't know how particularly uh, focused it is on um, the lances, though. Mm -hmm. um, but that's a very cool a weapon on the back of that you could probably jump up there and grab. Oh, you gotta stop the trolls from moving, you can't do it while they're moving, I forgot. If you just aggro them, just attack them, they'll stop and then you can run and go grab it. They will try to kick you, but that's probably enough. You now they should stop and you should be able to grab it before those other people show up. And then I usually just ride out of there, I'm like, thanks! Suck it! Yeah, you got another strength weapon. And GTFO. <laughs> that was awesome. Do a hit and run. Yeah, why not? <laughs> oh god. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! You just blew the horn, they're all aggroed on you. Stop fucking. <laughs> Damn, he must have heard the horn too, he's aggroed. 
<laughs> so this is that ever goal with the mini boss I was telling you about. Mm -hmm. And that's a shrine of America that will bring you back if you die right at this location. does bleed damage and so you're definitely better off dodging than you are taking hits because if that bleed crocs then it'll take a huge part of your life part. Charging R2 attack is one of my favorite attacks. You can get one off. You definitely have to have some space to do it. Ooh. Definitely a bit of a bastard. This guy, like when this game was very fresh, they would rock this guy's gear till like end game. Like people were all about his weapon and whatnot. Hmm? The bleed mechanic. Bleed mechanic, and it also has a. It covers a lot of ground with that like swooping attacks and whatnot. People were really into it. It was really good for PvP. Really good for bosses. Um, people got really into it. this gear. He was a pretty big uh, icon in the uh, first drop. try to switch between the, the blocking and poke and then when he's far away I'll do a hold circle to run and then press R2 to do a charge attack mm. and you just you know you can stack multiple hits with the charge attack and I just kind of switch between those two that's that's like my whole tactic with the lance is if they're up on me I'm blocking and poking until I have to retreat until I have to retreat to 
restore my stamina. And then if they're retreating, then I'm on the offensive right. with the running and poking with the, the circle to run and R2 to charge attack. You had a, one more hit. You got him, though. That was like right there. That was right in there. So freaking close. That bleed proc is so annoying, though, when you're getting it. Well, it didn't help that I wasted a. Yeah, that's last. That's true. <laughs> Probably we had a fine. You came in there with a bit of a handicap. Oh, darn, you all 
So yeah, I mean, you could adopt that at some point if it uh, did interest you, because it does have some cool weapon art and, and whatnot, and does bleed damage. And, well, I know, yeah. I'm, I'm getting into the Lance and stuff, it's, uh, uh, it's my favorite. I don't know what Margaret's just uh, causing this. I mean, I literally could get Margaret down to like the last 10% of their health with the starting broadsword. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I don't know, just full bastard mode. Yeah. There's another Evergoal, um, if you wanted to do another something, another uh, thing like this. Uh, pull up your mini map and go north. A little to the left there. It's that, yep, that's it. That's that great um, thing right there. So you're going to have to go that side of Grace uh, to the left. See, so that's the one you're going to want to take, and then you're going to take the road to the left, and you're going to go up the hill, and then you need to go back south down because that area is elevated uh, to get to that ever goal. People that are listening, they're like, what the hell is he pointing at? What are you, about? But you know what I'm saying. So yeah, you got to go take that road. Radio. Remember, yeah, that giant thing is gonna drop down. <laughs> yeah, so when you get to the top of this little ravine, you need to take a hard left. Ooh, you get interrupted from honking the horn. That was awesome. Get wrecked, sir. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, take a hard left. R.A.P. Sheep, Goat, Sheep, Goat, Sheep, Regret nothing. Goat, mm -hmm. Sheep, Ooh. Ram, 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 <laughs> Weird Dog, Dang, <laughs> <The> Massacre, <laughs> Regret nothing. Bones. Statue in Marcus. Help me. One of these, maybe. And to the other bowl. Alright. Go. Okay. And go. Oh, you press left on the D pad, you put your shield away. Okay. <laughs> you might want that. He does have some pretty strong defense. I think the previous one was weak to piercing mm -hmm. poking damage, and this one does seem to be a lot less. You might have to try a different tactic. In fact, I bet you the weapon you got from the previous one probably would be a really good weapon for this guy. If you have the stats. You don't have the right stats for it. It's a dex weapon. Uh, I this axe. I think they rocked that axe. It's a s does uh oh. Yeah, it's worth a shot. It's not upgraded. I think your lance is upgraded. Go down to your lance again. <coughs> oh sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna mute but I failed. Um <laughs> sorry, go down my lance. Okay. Yeah, your lance is plus two. Press triangle. So that shows you do hundred and seventy seven damage with it. Oh wow, that one you do one ninety four with the axe. A great act. So that is already a damage improvement. 
you won't be able to do the pokey poke with your axe. So I think the lance is good because you have that ability to block and attack at the same time. Yeah. But if you're doing less damage with it, you might as well go to something where you can dodge, chop, dodge, chop. You know, it's worth a, worth a shot. Right. Drop my shield or? Uh, press triangle again. So yeah, you're in a heavy load. You might be more advantageous probably to unequip your shield and see if I can get you back down to medium. Yeah, it did. It did get you down to medium. But I would dual wield it um, with holding triangle and pressing R1. There you go. And then, yeah. There you go. And I mean, if you like this weapon, but I mean, all throughout the game, I wouldn't be surprised if you have to switch up your weapon Got really good defense. Uh, hit one cool. Holy shit. Yeah. Also, I wonder what your weapon art is with this. Well, I, I screamed at him. That's all that happened. Oh, that, that's the. Uh, it, it's a buff then. Okay, well, then I'm not gonna run up to him and do it in his face. No, though. yeah, you should do it right <laughs> out the gate. <laughs> I was like, mm. <laughs> that did not do what I expected it to do. Yeah, I didn't even look at what it said. I should have. I mean, it's a buff, I mean, that's fine. I'll, I'll do a buff. Yeah. Hopefully it lasts more than like 3 seconds. It probably lasts like at least 15, I imagine. 10, 15 minimum. Barbaric lower. Whoa! I'm impressed. That was great. Oh. Jesus. Okay. Eh, maybe you should just have fun with this new weapon and try some other shit out. <laughs> this guy is kind of harsh. He's kind of a dick. So, try a different weapon? Or, I mean, if you want, I was going to say maybe explore something else and come back to this guy oh, some other time. Gotcha. Okay. Kind of what I was thinking. Alright, um, what do you think? Uh, well, it's kind of what interests you. I mean, if there's an area that jumps out at you that you want to explore. No idea. Um, maybe try using that axe on Margaret. If, if it's, you're doing a little more damage. And it's not going to go well, but okay. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it will go well. I don't know. Power positive thinking. Yeah. Watch it. I totally do, like. I'm yeah, you just. Like, yeah, one shot him. Well, that's <laughs> not happening, but. Yeah, don't forget to use your buff when you walk through the closet. Sure. Or, but, you know, you're getting really good with the, the dodging and whatnot. So, I don't know. Does that fit your play style?
That was not bad for your first attempt with that. Mm -hmm. Hey, bud. You're just right friggin' there. Mm -hmm. Could theoretically uh, go to your inventory. Right, uh, just made no mistakes. Yeah, I mean, get, so get, get factor inventory. Go up. Up, 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 up. I don't think you have any darn. I was gonna say, if you had some ruins some and pants. some smithing stones. Oh, wait, uh, press R1, that's why. And then go up. Oh, you do have some runes. So with those runes and any smithing stones you have, you could probably upgrade this axe. Well, we have one at least. One smithing stone or rune? One smithing stone. At least one. Um, That's probably it, though. Press uh, R1 a couple times. One more time. Yeah, you have actually a handful. Oh, wow. I don't remember that, but alright. Yeah, so if you want to go and upgrade this axe or your lance, either one, um, whatever one is speaking to you more, uh, might give you an edge with, uh, get, you know, finally putting Margaret down, you'll be doing more damage, period. So, uh, you press, you go to, go to the map, go to the round table. I mean, you technically can do the blacksmithing yourself, but I remember hearing that it's not quite as good as when you have the, uh, actual blacksmith do it. Um, uh, press triangle, and then R1, R1. R1 until it says the table of lost and free. Um, and then you're going to need to go to the inventory and use one of those runes before you go to the blacksmith. So go, uh, yeah, and then, nope, nope, left, and then up, up, then those are the runes, those are the considerable runes you can use. That one's going to be only 200, so you're going to need to use maybe a couple more. You probably need at least a few thousand to do some upgrading. Yeah, uh, 
we're almost done with the episode. It's got, uh, we, the episode's done in 18 minutes. Where do you need help right now? 18 minutes, or I can help you right now. Press R1 and then, uh, yeah. That might be enough. I might go check and see. Well, it's only 600, but you can go see how much it's going to cost first before you use up a whole bunch. It'd be a shame to waste them. Uh, you need to go to that, yeah, that one. Uh, I took you for dead. Mm -hmm. Well, where have you been hiding? I took you for dead. No matter, it's all the same. Lay out your arms, then. It's good customer service. Five stars. Oh, I start, boys. Yeah. Um, <laughs> up, 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 up. Strengthen uh, up. Yeah. So, okay, yeah. So you need a few more to even do the first one. And again, whether you want to do the lance or... The lance is already, I think, plus one. You got it, too? Where is it? It's, uh... Right there. You just passed it. Yeah, you, oh yeah, it's a plus two, so you can make it a plus three. I mean, either way, I think you're probably going to bounce maybe back and forth between the lance and possibly the axe, but the axe is pretty dope. I mean, it is, but it's just a, a lot of damage, so... You could also change the weapon art on the axe, and you might find that different weapon arts will give it different attacks. It, it, you know, you can have a weapon art that will actually have an attack instead of a buff. And you can also make it so it's heavy, so it's a strength specific one, and it um, the strength stat is an A scaling or S scaling, potentially also. So if you really lean into strength, or you can make it dex, or you can make it fire, or you can make it, you know, when you put a weapon art on it, you can actually change how the weapon scales. This make it do almost the same damage the axe is doing now. Yeah, and you'd be able to block. So, I mean, that might be the way to go. I mean, I Lord knows I am a total simp for the lance. 1,000%. Should I keep leveling it? I mean, if you're enjoying it, hell yeah. You know, it's kind of, you know, totally up to you. But I, I still, to this day, use the lance and almost always default. And sometimes I use two lances. Sometimes I use a tower shield and a lance. Sometimes I'll dabble with some other weapons, but almost always I default back to the lance. Especially if I'm having a hard time, I end up going back to the lance. It is by far my favorite. My personal favorite. And shortly thereafter, when you get rid of Margaret, um, you're going to find a tower, your first, like, really decent tower shield. And, uh, probably want to level up some so you can it's going to be kind of heavy so to rock a heavy weapon like this and a heavy shield you're going to need to put some points into endurance to get your uh, equip load up either that or a talisman there eventually you'll get a talisman too that also helps you with the uh, heavy equipment pretty pretty soon here uh, to the left or um, if you press R1 Press it again, press it again, press it again, and then down, close, down, I forget what it's called, it might be Stormfoot Catacombs or, no, no, it's the next one, that's it. Yeah, and at some point you might get a nice weapon art to put on this too, and then you can make it a strength scaling weapon. That'll also help do a little more punch to it. You should put your lantern on. Oh shit. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. You seem like that guy's crotch is well lit. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be intimidating. Yeah, trust the man without a little crotch. <laughs>
like this is it. This is it. Damn it. This is the frickin' one, damn it. Roger's like, stay a while, listen. Little <laughs> Roger, too. had the pressure on so was, good early on. I wasn't backing up as far because I was backing into some swords mm -hmm. and uh, it just screwed me up. Yeah. Because well, if I had had the distance I would have healed and I didn't. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, alright. Yeah, I mean, the I guess the jousting game I would want to be more accessible. I don't mind it having certain skills that are purely skill-based um, timing and all, but uh, and like tight hitboxes and stuff. But I think that if the main focus is lance and jousting, horseback charges. It, a, a lot of it should be more accessible. Got his back to you. Such a good one. Does a bunch of little hits and one big hit at the end, but he's just going to get back. Might want to heal.
I think I can, now that I realize I was missing a good attack, I can maybe better incorporate that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's I literally, that I used that attack or the block and poke. Those are like the things I alternate. Whether it's PvP, boss fights, I mean, I might switch it up a little bit, but those are like the main two attacks I, I use. And it, it ruins people. That charged attack is usually when people are retreating, and I'm like, no, you don't get to retreat. I'm, I'm up in your shit. Rapid attack on that one attack, and it helps to get him to the guard break quicker and get that critical attack. That last round was pretty aggressive, pretty pretty quick. It's either that or it's gonna be a good cliffhanger. Must. <laughs> 